A very good morning to one and all. I am Varshita from J section of branch IT. Would like to explain the topic introduction to strings in Python. So basically, what are strings? A string is a sequence of characters which mostly contain non-numeric characters, and they are denoted with double quotes and single quotes. Python recognizes both single quotes and double quotes. Here, let us see how to represent a string. So the left quote of a string represents the beginning of a string, and the right quote of the string represents the end of the string. Um, so it is compulsory to end a string. If a string quote marks the beginning of a string value, a single quote must delimit the end of the string. So similarly, we have double quotes. It plays the same role where uh, where the single quote plays. So both can be used in the Python program, but uh, mixture of uh, using this both double quotes and single quotes simultaneously on a string it gives a syntax error now coming to a now coming to a basic example of uh, strings here i gave a uh, fred in double quotations and then i got a output of single quotations fred and i have given here single quotes uh, abc and i got output of single quote abc so the interpreter accepts both the input of uh, double quotes and single quotes but it gives an output of single quotes so next coming to the sum programs here i gave double quotations 19 19 is an integer but i gave in a double quotes that which becomes a string and it had written a st uh, output of uh, 19 with single quotes and i have given a integer just 19 without any double quotes and single quotes it had written an output of 19 and i have given here 19 with single quotes and it had given an output of 19 with single quotes so here i didn't give a double quotes or single quotes and gave a string so it had shown an error here so this shows that the strings are represented in double quotes and single quotes so here is an important note the interpreter does not accept the string with missing quotes what do you mean by this missing quotes in the previous example we have given a string which is beginning with double quotes and ending with single quote there are uh, definitely two types of um, quotes but not of similar one so the interpreter does not allow this type of syntax uh, so it gives a syntax error now coming to the expressions all expressions in python have a type and this type indicates the kind of expression it is an expressions type is sometimes united has class and now now i'm going to say about two types integer type and string type here i took the example of four and double quotations or single foot quotations of four four is an integer and single quotations of four is a string type for example here i have given type of four where four is an integer and returns a uh, returns an output of uh, int and the next example i have given a type four in single quotations so basically single quotations uh, definitely represents a string so it gives an output of class string so the built-in int function creates an actual integer object from a string that looks like a integer and the string function creates a string object from the digits that make up an so now we'll see some python programs which are associated by type name int with integer expressions and string with string expressions previously we have given the expression in the as the input in the program and we got the output of which type it is now i have given here four which is of integer and i got the output as integer and the next one i have given a type of what the uh, expression is so I have got an integer expression which is uh, in single quotes and this is the format of string format and now I have given single quotes 5 where I got the output normally has single single quotes 5 here again I gave the type name integer where it is of single quote 5 instead of, instead of getting a string I got an integer because I have given int uh, int has the class name even though I have represented it in, in, in string format it has given integer so the expression string 4 evaluates to the string value 4 single quotes 4 and the integer and the int 5 in the single quotes evaluates to the integer value 5 so the next one is a uh, plus operator plus operator is an arithmetic operator which we use to add two numbers but in strings we use it differently plus operator is used to combine two strings or two integers represented in a string format 
so here uh, some examples i have given here 5 plus 10 which is normal numeric arithmetic it gives an output of 15 and in the next one i have given two strings in single quotes adding them that is nothing but appending of strings which they combine each other and given in output of a b c x y z and the next one i have given one integer and one string so it gives an trace back error so the next one i have given a integer of 5 uh, plus int of single quotations 10 even though i have given inside a string uh, format but outside i have given the type as int so it gives an output of integer 15 so i have given here single quotations 5 which is nothing but string and here i have given integer inside the bracket and i have given here type name string so it gives me a string of 10 so string plus string gives me another string which is nothing but single quotations 5 10 and the next one i have given type integer single quotations 3 and plus integer of 4 so even though i have given here integer uh, sorry even though i have given here string i have uh, given the type name as int so i will get the output as int so here let us discuss some programs using uh, strings the first one is write a python program to print individual characters in a string so i took here s equal to gmrit in single quotations which is the string format and here i took for i in s to count the to just assign the numbers uh, to the each character and print i comma n equal to uh, single quotations the output would be gmrit so the next program is write a python program to find the length of the string length of the string so here it uh, s equal to some string i have given here in single quotations and i want this to be uh, to be uh, counted and i want the length so i have uh, given l equal to len of s s is nothing but the string we have given so print l we get the output of 8 so the next program is write a python program to find length without using len function without using len function we have to count the uh, length of the string so s equal to i have given here ball is in blue color blue in color so count let us take some random variable count equal to 0 for i in s so when it gives the positions of each of these character in the string it counts then count equal to count plus 1 print count so the output would be uh, the length of the string which is nothing but 16 the next program is uh, write a python program to enter name and reverse the name through keyboard so i have given uh, we have to take the string from the keyboard which is nothing but input input from the user so i have written s equal to input of uh, enter a string so when a, a string is entered so we have to reverse the string so using this s semicolon minus one will get a uh, reverse of the string here is it here is the output so enter a string i have written varshita where it given as a reverse one a t i h s r a v so the next program is write a python program to find length and word count in the string so yes without uh, using we have done uh, length uh, without using length we have counted the uh, length of the string but now we are using both len and split to find the length and count the words so here i have given s equal to this is python class from j section and len equal to len of s which tells us the length of the string and print the length is comma l so the next we want the count of the word so here i took c equal to len s dot split print the words are in double quotations comma c so the output will be the length of the the length is 29 and the words are uh, 7 
so yes this is the uh, programs where we use uh, strings uh, these are simple programs which help us to learn basic things of strings and this programs would be helpful to understand the strings and string format here we come uh, end of the topic uh, strings thank you